manufacturers are taking leasing very seriously. Uh, they have a lot of leases. Will be, again, they have a lot of leases will be coming off of lease this year, and they need to have attractive leases ready to go to supply these off-lease consumers and off-lease vehicles uh, with new leases to keep them in their make and model and, uh, well, make it for sure, perhaps model as well, and in an effort not to lose any market share and actually hopefully gain market share. Now, in terms of cheap lease payments and incentives, uh, really the two work hand in hand. Uh, regardless, if a manufacturer chooses to put uh, rebates on a particular vehicle, those rebates really can be used uh, for more traditional installment loans or cash deals, as well as that additional money can be put towards leasing as well to make those lease payments more attractive. Typically, a manufacturer will take that rebate money and inflate residuals above standard levels. They would also have the option of reducing or subsidizing the interest rate involved in the lease as well, or what's known as the lease factor. And of course, in some cases, they may choose to, may choose to do both and offer a subsidized interest rate or lease factor as well as an inflated residual value, or at least inflated above your typical market value. And when you take those factors into consideration, that is going to be uh, an attractive lease payment in most cases. And of course, that attractive lease payment will lure those individuals, uh, not only coming off lease that they want to retain, but also new leases into the equation as well for that particular make. 